Okay, so here we are, we're a few days off schedule, but here we are with the final release of Ubuntu 11.04 with the Unity interface. Now the first question that might be coming to your mind is, boy, you sound stuffed up, and yes I am, my nose is blocked considerably. Nevertheless, here we are. So basically there's just been a lot of bug fixes and changes since the previous uh, review that I did of Ubuntu 11.04. Unity has become a fair bit more stable now, it's more usable. I did have some issues in between the beta releases between beta 1 and beta 2. I had some very weird X server issues that wouldn't allow me to log into the desktop, which was a real bummer. But I came back on the final release, downloaded the final image, and it seems to be running just fine. Screencasting, on the other hand, is a real pain in the backside. Unfortunately, I had to go to the lengths of uh, Git cloning the latest FFmpeg and uh, uh, H.264 codecs from the VideoLand website. And that was quite a process. But having said that, it's all working now. It's only a matter of time before the packages in the repos catch up and we get tools like Kazam and stuff back. So, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the Unity interface. There is a lot of people that like it, there is a lot of people, there is even more people that don't like it. So what's my opinion? Basically, if you know what you're doing, then you're going to like it. Now bear with me. Basically, what Canonical is doing here is they're trying to make an interface that is easy for people to understand. It's easy for complete, app, uh, for complete computer noobs to figure out how to get around a system much like a tablet or a smartphone. That is the audience that they're aiming for. Now, granted, there are many, many experienced Linux users out there who have been using Ubuntu because of its sheer convenience. And I think that is where, that is where, uh, that is where the roads are parting at this point. Basically, a lot of experienced users are upset because Canonical has completely disrupted their workflow and it's become an absolute shambles as opposed to what the average Linux user is used to. However, that is not the audience that Canonical is aiming for. Canonical has realized that in order to get more users uh, running Linux on their, on their netbooks and on their tablets and on their laptops, they need to make it more click friendly. They need to make it so that an absolute computer noob can sit down at the Unity interface and just start clicking away and discover things very quickly. And that is what Unity is geared towards. For the experienced users, there definitely are productivity boosts that are present. But you need to dig around and find them. They're not something that you can just pick up like your previous GNOME 2 experience. So, there are many alternatives that await for those who are disgruntled with Unity, and I have no doubt that there are plenty of people that are disgruntled with Unity. For me personally, Ubuntu Unity seems to work fine for me. I can get my stuff done, I can search and launch things very quickly, I can use I can use the, the jump list functionality just to get, uh, to get to my recent documents very quickly. Um, they've made some nice improvements with window management. You can now launch things and put them side by side, much like Windows 7. And I know uh, I've already discussed this in my beta review of Ubuntu 11.04, but, you know, they are just nice little usability tweaks that are, you know, very helpful. Like, even when I was compiling the, uh, the source code for you know, FFmpeg, you can see here that I had to uh, download and install. You know, it was very helpful. So, they they have made some nice tweaks. It's not for everyone. Unity is definitely not for everyone. But I think Canonical has realized that Linux is at the stage now where there's so many derivatives of Ubuntu. There are so many different Linux operating systems to choose from. OpenSUSE, there's Fedora, there's lots and lots of other distros that you can choose from. Even the respins of Ubuntu, most of them are going to stick with the GNOME 2.32 interface. So, quite honestly, if, I mean, there are many people that don't like Unity, and I've said that already, but quite honestly, if you don't like Unity, then there are many, many alternatives waiting for you. Having said that, there are some nice little tweaks that the Unity interface has that if you do get used to it and if you like it, then chances are you'll probably end up enjoying it once you realize how it works. Now I know that sounds counterproductive, so I think that while people um, are really going to hate on this version of Ubuntu, the problem is that Canonical is really committed to Unity now. They really want to expand it into something that is just as customizable and just as uh, albeit user-friendly as what the uh, as what the previous versions of Ubuntu have been. 
Now, something that I have found to be of an immense help is uh, is the uh, Unity Guide that uh, the OMG Ubuntu people put up on their website. So we're going to come back to that in a bit. But um, as far as me using this goes, I've found it quite smooth. Um, I haven't had any driver issues. Um, again, it's just my situation. It's just the laptop I'm running it on. There is going to be people that have all sorts of crazy issues with Unity just because it's a new kernel, it's a new shell. I have noticed that suspend and resume is a little bit slower than 10.10, and that is uh, bugging me quite a bit. But, you know, maybe with a kernel update that'll fix itself, but it's not a big deal. Um, apart from that, I'm not really having that many other issues. It's, uh, it seems to be a fairly stable, it seems to be a fairly stable system. I'm getting used to it, and quite honestly, I'm enjoying it. Um, it is different, no doubt about it, but with these little uh, productivity boosters like the like the keyboard shortcuts, there's even a person who has drawn up a wallpaper with all the keyboard shortcuts on your desktop background. So if you want to just get used to it in the first couple of days, then uh, then it's it'll be sitting there waiting for you, all the keyboard shortcuts. We've got some very nice effects here on the dash. You can see that I can move stuff around and it'll concertina up down the bottom here. And as I mo add more and more apps to this, uh, to this dash, it will uh, expand uh, as you know as to what it needs to do. You can click and drag. It's 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 very click friendly. It's very user friendly for anyone who has experience with uh, touch screens or um, or for smartphones. This will really appeal to those sorts of users. And quite honestly, this is the market that Ubuntu is uh, is uh, looking for. So, I only want this to be a short video just to let you know how my Ubuntu 11.04 experience is going. You can check back for the previous part for my review of it. This is just more my opinion continued. Feel free to leave comments below. I really don't mind what you guys have to say. Because the great thing about Linux is people have choice. They can choose what they want to run. They're not forced to run one thing or another. Even if Ubuntu completely takes a nosedive and goes completely crazy and, and everyone at Canonical is absolutely loopy, you don't have to worry because there's Kubuntu, there's Ubuntu, Lubuntu, there's all of those derivatives like Elementary OS, Ping OS, and there's even completely different install bases altogether. Fedora, OpenSUSE, Debian. You know, there is so many choices out there that people feel, uh, can feel free to choose. And those who have been following Ubuntu for the last couple of releases are going to be experienced enough to try one of those alternatives. Those who are completely new to computers, completely new to Linux, and have only ever used Windows in their entire life, I think they're going to click with it okay. I think they might have a few niggles and have a few question marks, like what is that supposed to do? But honestly, I think they're definitely going to get used to it. There are definitely productivity boosts here. And quite honestly, the continuing releases of Ubuntu Unity is only going to get better. This is the bare bones of Unity. There is going to be more customization abilities, and it's only going to get better and better as time goes on. The Canonical team have done an amazing job in the last six months just to push this out into a release. People argue that it is a bit early, and I would kind of agree with them. Having said that, it is a nice interface as it is, and there is going to be uh, controversy surrounding Unity for many months to come. So just finally here as, we, uh, as I wrap up this video, you can see here we've got a guide for Natty Narwhal, and it goes through uh, what Unity is about, who it is aimed towards, and different uh, tips on the launcher and the dash and the panel, etc, etc. So it's a good write-up if you have time to go and look at that. I do recommend it if you want to give Unity a spin. Those with no previous experience will, should definitely read this, but uh, those who do have a lot of Linux experience, feel free to go elsewhere. There are many distros awaiting. Distrowatch.org or .com or whatever it is. Anyway, thanks for watching this, guys, and I hope you have a good day. Yep. Feel free to enjoy Unity, but feel free to hate on it as well. Go ahead, the comments section awaits.